Willkommen zurück bei The Zodiac Trials. Trial, nicht Trials, Trial. Nur eins, nur eins. <lacht> Letztes Mal haben wir die Fähigkeit unserer Char Charakter kennengelernt. Es gab eine Menge. Also, wenn ihr sie gucken wollt, guckt den letzten Part an. Und, ja. <lacht> wenn nicht, wir werden sie im Spiel wahrscheinlich kennenlernen nochmal, aber... Ich finde, da gaben sie einen guten Überblick, was sie ihre Fähigkeit tut. Deswegen guckt euch gerne den letzten Part an, da haben wir vieles kennengelernt über das Spiel. Und Monkey und Ochse und Bunny auch ein bisschen, glaube ich, und Snake haben jetzt alle eine Idee, wer der Bösewicht sein könnte in dem ganzen Spiel. Also dieser sogenannte Jade Emperor. Und jetzt kriegen wir eine Backstory, denn anscheinend war es, ich glaube, Brian Morris, sag ich so, ja genau. Und jetzt kriegen wir seine Backstory. Brian Morris, son of, an Aaron, son of Aaron Morris, son of the man arrested and executed for the cold-blooded murder of his employer. Amadeus Bowen. Amadeus Bowen was a huge deal. He was the CEO of a major entertainment company. Not many people were of, oh, were of more importance in our city than this chief of police, Oliver Bowen, but his brother Amadeus was one of them. His murder shocked the community, made national news. A heroic and beloved public figure had been murdered in his own office. Aaron Morris was arrested the next day. The man claimed he was innocent. He swore it across his heart and hoped to die. The case against him told a different story. Bowen's body was hidden in his personal safe, so discovering it took longer than expected. But once it was found, the time of death was quickly determined. It wasn't an exact time. But it gave a reasonable range. The only person to have entered the victim's office during that time frame was Morris, and numerous eyewitnesses will attest. And Bowen's death was, wasn't something that could be done remotely. He was strangled, bludgeoned to death, then stuffed in a safe. There also weren't any secret entrance into the office, nor was it possible for someone to have been hiding in the office the whole time. If that wasn't proof enough, the weapon used to bludgeon Bowen was found disposed in a, of in a river. It had been disposed of in a river awfully close to Morris' house. Also, while much of the money that had been taken from Bowen's safe was never recovered, a stack of bills with Bowen's fingerprints was found in the glove compartment of Morris' car. Speaking of fingerprints, Morris were recovered on the inside of the safe a place Morris had no place in looking. More and more evidence kept coming out and stacking up against Morris. All of this evidence, and yet my father decided to defend him in court. My father legitimately believed in Morris' innocence. He began to prepare his defense based on the fact that the footage from the security cameras in the building had been erased. Digital logs showed that someone used Bowen's Mastercard to enter the security room and tamper with the technology before Morris ever met with Bowen. This defense came crumbling down when it was revealed that the night before the murder, Boris, Bowen and Morris had gone drinking at the bar. The bartender testified that at some point during the night, Bowen dropped his wallet on the floor. After the two left, uh, left Morris came back and to return the wallet to Bowen. Next morning, Bowen's secretary testified that Bowen's Mastercard was missing from his wallet. The police determined that the bar trip was the only reasonable time that the Mastercard could have been taken. The biggest point for my father's defense suddenly turned into a dam damning, damning story for the prosecution. Still, my father fought vi vil valiantly in the court for Morris' innocence. He argued every possible point of uncertainty hammered, uncertainty, hammered on about how it was all circumstantial and pleaded the jury to understand the meaning of reasonable doubt. But in the end, it wasn't enough. Morris was found guilty, and the judge gave him the death penalty due to a complete lack of remorse. My father died of illness a few weeks la later. Around the time, Morris was finally executed. 
He said he lived a good life on the whole, a life he was proud of. But in that hospital bed, he mentioned to me that one of his few regrets was being unable to save Aaron Morris. In the end, despite the overwhelming flood of evidence to the contrary, my father still believed in his client, like a good lawyer should. And now, his son Brian, who should have been a senior in high school, was going out of his way to take revenge. To avenge his father? That's what this was. Fuck this! Mouse, what's going on? Seriously, this is revenge for your dad's execution? I get never being able to accept that your father was very obviously a murderer, but why the hell would you take it out on us? Even as a criminal, your dad clearly wants the, to be the best for you in life. Why would you throw that all away for a half-baked revenge plot where you couldn't even hide your identity for a handful of minutes? And why would you take it out on me? What, are you angry that my father wasn't able to get your dad off the hook for his very obvious murder? My father truly believed in your dad's innocence and did everything he could to try to help him. And now you're going to take this out on me? That's bullshit and you know it, Brian. Well, Mouse, I know you're angry, but calm down. No, she's right to get angry. I'm fucking pissed as well. What the hell did I do it in any of this? I've got no idea who this Morris punk is at all. There's no reason I should be here. It's completely ridiculous. Right, it's really unfair. I mean, seriously, what did I do to deserve this? Like, okay, maybe I put out an article or two on the trial, but it was anything unfair. And tons of people put out articles. It was a big event. Why single out me? Well, I know why I'm here. I testified against his father at trial. I was in the building at the time of the murder. Bowen had discussed interest in purchasing one of my statues for his office. When I came to bring it to him, I was in the waiting room for a dreadful long time. And in that waiting room, I was a witness able to conclusively say that the only person who entered Bowen's offense during the time for frame of his death was Aaron Morris. Oh, I was a witness in the trial too. Maybe that's why I thought I recognized you. Yeah, I was also around at the time Morris was killed. He was gonna discuss me doing some advertising for him. They thought an Olympian would be a good face to sell their stuff, I guess. Anyway, oh wow, Olympian, not bad. <laughs> this is good of you. <laughs> I see kudos. Anyways, I talked the whole about how I saw him carrying the murder weapon. My testimony probably was what stopped the creep from wheeling out of it. I I also testified I was um I was Miss Mr. Bowen's secretary at the time, and I also could talk about who entered his office. Ich wusste es. Ich habe mir gedacht, wenn sie ist wahrscheinlich Sekretärin gewesen. Irgendwie ich weiß nicht. Ich hatte so ein Gefühl von ihr. I was also the one who gave Morris a as a suspect to the police when they were interrogating me. I'm the reason he got arrested in the first place. My construction company was doing some work on a neighbor building that day. I think I mentioned something to the police about when I saw Morris drive off. It was nothing big though, was never caught caught or anything. I don't know why it should have been a big enough deal to land me here. It appears you're in the same boat as me, my friend. This Brian Punk seems to really not like people saying what they saw to the police. Is that really such a crime? I went to Bowen to discuss the possibility of investing in one of my films and I saw Morris pass by in the building. And that really, is it really such a crime? I was never brought to court. A shame too, because I was willing to give the performance of a lifetime to catch the devious croak. I've already mentioned how I'm connected to Brian. If I was a better therapist, I would have been able to lead him away from the path of revenge, not towards it. I've seen the kid around a few times. Maybe I could have talked some sense into him too. You knew Brian, dog? Knew is a strong word. Like I said, I've seen him around. Then why were you brought into this? Easy. I won the bar where Morris flitched the master cut from Bowen. The testimony of mine really shattered the defense arguments. Ah, I've got a barkeeper! That's what's in! And I th and I thank you for that. Ox? Oh, war er. Warte, war er war der, der Anwalt, der Gegenanwalt? 
I am a prosec prosec prosecutor. And for some reason or another, for one of my first cases, I ended up helping with the prosecution, prosecution of Morris. It doesn't make much sense why they have someone who was so wet behind the ears help with such a high profile, high stake case. But it does make sense why Brian will target me. I was very good at helping the prosecution. It also makes sense why he will target me. After all, I was the one who arrested his dad. Do we, do we insist? Wait, Bunny, you're a cop? Guilty as charged. I was almost certain I recognized a number of you. This would be explain why. Honestly, I should have caught on sooner. I guess I was just too distracted by the insanity of it all. Oh wow, alle kennen ihn anscheinend. Außer, außer Dragon? Warte, wieso kennt Dragon ihn nicht? Vielleicht war es seine Freundin oder sowas. Hm, seine Ex-Freundin oder so. I gotta say though, while I'm honored Brian decided to choose me, his choice of targets confused me a bit. Some of these make sense, but for a bunch of you people, there were surely better targets. That's totally right. Like, take the judge for instance. There were a bunch of people who said that him applying the death penalty for a single murder was unnecessary. He's being accused of succumbing... What? I want to read <laughs> no, I don't want to read it! Manu! Oh, who cares about any of that? The kid's a complete nutcase, through and through, a dastard and a dart. Try to psychoanalyze the comings and goings of the cycle with a head case, and you'll end up crazy as them. I must say, that's not... <laughs> Stop! Don't open up the Hey, I think there's a great discussion about how we talk about mental illness to be had there, but this bigger point was right. We've just been going on and on about why we're here, but that's not going to help us get out. We need to focus on, our, on the current problems, and we can save worrying about all that other stuff for later. Bunny's right. The issue we had before getting complete, completely sidetracked was how we're all going to be able to cross the finish line at the same time. We have a lot of sim we have a lot of abilities, right? I think there should probably be some way where we could combine them to let us get on the other side fast. That seems to me that that seems to me to be a recipe for disaster. Any solution found would be a complex multi-step process with much more room for error or betrayal. What does anyone what what does anyone get out of betraying here? Why do you all keep getting hung up on that? I think Monkey might be right about the complexity part. There's a much simpler solution, and we should prioritize on that. A simpler solution? What is that? Do you recall what Brian said about items? Specifically the minor trinkets? I understand what you're saying. You do? There are 12 minor trinkets, and their movement is equal to the number of people using them. If we are able to find all 12, we'd be able to cross the finish line as a group in two rounds. Huh? Can we die immer wieder benutzen? Great idea, horse. Now we've got a clear game plan that'll let, that'll let us get out alive. With this, we can all be safe, right? Oh, no, that's right, that's right. Thank God, I was getting worried there for a second. Would it really be that simple, though? What do you mean? Nothing much. I'm merely pointing out the fact that this solution is, well, rather basic. No offense intended, but a child could have worked it out. Ich habe nicht gedacht, dass man die zweimal nutzen kann. Ich dachte, man kann sie nur einmal nutzen, weil dann geht's nämlich nicht. Weil dann haben sie zwölf Runden, eines weg, um zwölf Schritt zu laufen und dann noch elf. Dann sind wir 23. Haha. <lacht> I question the point of all this work, if it were to be solved so simply. What's the problem, Snack? Why do you have to be such a downer? I'm not being a downer. Merely pointing out a particular reality. Do you have a better idea? No, no, I'm not dismissing the plan. Then what are you doing? Raising a thought. Sir Jack shed his answer then. He's right though. Would things be this simple? Hey, one of the minor trinkets are super duper hidden. Like there's no guarantee that we'd actually be able to find them all. Things go cooked all fall apart. Calm down, would you? Like Horse pointed out, with a trinket, it would only take two rounds to finish the race. Race. <laughs> race. 
We have plenty of time to search, and this school isn't all that large. Let's first try to find all the minor trinkets. In the meantime, I suggest anyone concerned think of a backup plan. Sounds like a plan! Shall we start looking then? Actually, we should make a move. We've been talking for a while now, and round one is almost over. I looked over to a nearby clock and found that Bunny was absolutely, absolutely right. Good catch, Bunny. Everyone split up and just click the run button, okay? We'll come back here, watch the animals move, and then we start our search. Alright, let's do it. With a discernible game plan formed, everyone split up with a sense of purpose. It certainly felt like we had a real chance of pull this, pulling this off. But Snake was right to bring up his concerns. I was burdened with a general sense of unease. 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 <laughs> and a palpable sense of anger at Brian. How ungrateful could you be? How ridiculous. But no, I couldn't think about that now. I need to focus on moving forward. I turned on my tablet and pressed the run button. There, done. My movie, my move input, I went back to the cafeteria. The others scattered. I won't just run, right? No one tried any trickery shit? Please, there would be absolutely no point in that at this stage of the game. Well, I suppose Pig might panic and hope for an early 11 space lead. What? I'd never do that. Settle down, will you? I'll be, it'll all be confirmed in just a second. Just as Ox said that, the speaker turned on a few moments later. Round one has ended. Now let us see how the race has progressed. Oh, I switched buttons! Eins! The rat has run one space. The ox has run one space. The tiger has run one space. The bunny has run one space. The dragon has run one space. The snake has run one space. The horse has run one space. The sheep has run one space. The monkey has run one space. The rooster has run one space. The dog has run one space. The pig has run one space. Oh hey! Alle haben sich gehalten! Hätte ich nicht erwartet! <lacht> ich dachte wirklich, irgendeiner wird jetzt schon einen auf Trickerei machen. Aber eigentlich dumm, eigentlich schlau, weil das wäre sehr schnell aufgefallen. Und vor allem, wer es machen können? Bunny? Aber Bunny hätte halt die Risiko gehabt, dass er vielleicht doch nicht weit kommen wäre. Also das wäre dumm gewesen. Dog hätte ich es gebracht. Pig, Tiger und vielleicht noch... Äh, nee, nur, ich glaube nur Pig und Tiger hätten einen richtigen Fortschritt ausgemacht. Now, one round two has begun. Do your best and choose wisely. I've had myself breathe. Breath, breathe a sign of relief when looking at the results. Of course, I didn't actually think anyone will dis disobey the plan, but I couldn't help worrying. Great work, team! We did it! Yay! Hooray, yes, we all pressed the button. Good job, us! Yay! Good job, us! Oh my god, we're so great! <laughs> it, is, it is a fairly basic achievement, but we should still appreciate it. No, we should start looking for minor trinkets. Round 2 has already started. Quite right. It'd be best to split up and search as much area as possible. I'll search over down to the right corridor of the first floor. You will? <laughs> Don't let me be of assistance. You wish to serve with me? To find us a better than one, right? You aren't wrong. Sure, you can come along with me. I want to check out the trading room I saw on my way here. Looks interesting. There might be a trinket there. In that case, can I come along with you? I'm still nervous about threats in the school, so I want to stick with someone strong. I have no issue with it. Thank you. I'm interested in looking around the library. Mouse, would you care to join me in my search? Did I care to join him? Hmm. Na klar, warum nicht? Ich meine, diesen Schuss zu, zu zweit, also ja, klar, warum nicht? Ich glaube, ich gehe mit ihm mit. I had woken up with Ox, and I felt we had worked pretty well together so far. I didn't see any reason not to work with him. As a matter of fact, I will work with you. Okay then, glad to hear. Glad to hear it. If I might ask, why did you ask me to investigate with you? <laughs> Why'd 
Well, uh, you seem rather competent early on. You also seem the most grounded of everyone else here, which is a shockingly low bar to clear. Uh, thanks, I guess. So Mouse is going with Ox, great. Now can we quit talking about searching and just start searching? Yeah, let's do that. The rest of us can just split up and look around. Oh, and everybody remember to input your moves and we, we commence here before the round ends. Got it. With that, we all spread out and began our search. Oh, das wird spannend. Aber erst im nächsten Part. Im nächsten Part sehen wir, wie das alles hier von Platten läuft. Denn die erste Runde war ein großer Schock. Ah. Und Brian? Hm, mm, Brian. Du hast Probleme, Kumpel. Mhm. Mm dich meine ich. Dich da hinten. Aber ist es ist schön zu wissen, woher jetzt alle sich kennen und alle verbunden sind. Das ist schön. Das gefällt mir. Ich mag gern so, solche Logik-Sachen, solche Verknüpfungen geschlossen zu haben. Das ist gut. Und der Plan... Ist gut, aber ich glaube nicht, dass man die Twinkles öfter nutzen kann. Ich glaube echt, dass man nur zwölf Schritte mitlaufen kann insgesamt. Weil das wäre sonst sehr einfach. Aber wir werden sehen. Oh mein Gott. Ich kann kaum so ich kann es kaum erwarten, bis der erste uns betrügt. <lacht> Ihr wisst es doch, es wird passieren. Irgendeiner wird den anderen verraten. Das ist so offensichtlich. Aber vielleicht, vielleicht sind wir doch alle gute Menschen und alle werden sich helfen. Das wäre auch schön, oder? Aber wir werden sehen. Im nächsten Part von The Zodiac Trial. Danke fürs Zugucken. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.